In this video, I'm going to go over several examples of fancy indexing in the context of uh, NumPy. But before we begin, let's look at what fancy indexing is. Simply put, fancy indexing just means passing an array of indices to access multiple array elements at once. In other words, we describe indexing, uh, fancy indexing just describes indexing, indexing using integer uh, arrays. Now let's look at a simple code that demonstrates uh, a simple indexing in NumPy. So uh, the first line here, we import NumPy library as NP. Then we pass a list of numbers, right? One through 20 using the square brackets into this NumPy array, numpy.array function and assign it to a variable X. Okay, so this X, right, will create a NumPy array based on this function. Then the, the last part of the code here, we use the print function, right? Uh, method to pass the index four. So we pass index four using the square bracket. Now into the previously uh, created uh, array. So essentially here, when we print this, right, this will return the fifth position, right? So remember Python index begins from zero. So this will be zero, one, two, three, four. So again, this will be zero, one, two, three, four. So the fifth position here will be 50. So let's go ahead and print that, okay? Now let's look at fancy indexing. The first example, okay? Again here, we wanna import the NumPy library as NP. And then uh, we create, uh, we pass a list of numbers, right? One through 20, we're using the previous uh, example into the NumPy or NP array function uh, and assign it to a variable X, right? Then we assign a list of indices, right? We assign a list of indices using the square brackets here, uh, 0, 3, 4, and 7, uh, separated by a comma, right? These indices correspond to the first, okay? 0 will be your first position, 4th, uh, 5th, and 8th position in your, uh, in our variable here, okay? So we have passed that to our variable Y. And then now uh, to utilize fancy indexing, right? We use the print function, but here we pass the method, we pass Y. So we pass here Y, okay? As an index to X and print it, okay? So again, when we print this, you can see uh, that's why they call it fancy indexing, right? So we're able to extract uh, the first position here, uh, zero. Uh, we also extract the third position here, four, okay? And then also 50 here, uh, the eighth, uh, actually this will be the fifth position, right? And the uh, and now lastly here, 28 as the eighth position, okay? Now let's look at a second example, how to select elements, right? We go through the same thing. So uh, again, here we create a 2D uh, array, okay? So to create a 2D array, uh, we use that at numpy array function. We pass the list of numbers here. We basically here, will create a three by three dimension, right? Uh, and that means just three columns and three rows, okay? Then we create a row of indices, right? So a row of indices here, which have the values zero and two, right? And then we pass it to uh, an array that we call row underscore indices. Then we also create another array of column indices and we pass the values one, two, and we call that call indices. Now to use fancy index, uh, indexing, we again pass this uh, row and column indices as arguments in our original array here using square brackets. So essentially here, the row indices will contain zero, two, and one, two. Now, when we print this uh, selected underscore elements, which now becomes our array. So let's look at the logic here. So essentially here we'll be just extracting. So for row indices, we'll just be saying, uh, extract the first row and the first column. Okay, first row, first column. And then here again, how to read this under the second uh, value here will be uh, extract the second row and second column. So here will be first row, which is just this, the, the entire, uh, entirety of this is first row. So zero, 
in first column. So that number will be two. And then second row, zero, one, two, okay? And second column. So that'll be two and nine. So when we print this, we have two and nine, okay? So third example, uh, what if we wanted to modify an example, uh, um, some elements, right? Again, we import, everything remains the same. Uh, we import NumPy as NP, we create a 2D array. Uh, the dimension here is a three by three, meaning three columns, three rows. Then we create an array of indices. We just call this indices, right? Okay, and we pass a value zero and two. Okay, now to use fancy indexing, uh, again here, we pass these indices as our row, right? As argument for our row. And then one here is our column, right? And then we use the equal sign operator uh, to specify on the right-hand side what we wanna replace uh, in our original array here. So uh, what's gonna happen here is we, this is how to read it. So first of all, be uh, the first row, remember this our index has zero two. So we just say the first row, okay? First row, column one. So first row, this would be the first row, column one will be zero, one. So that would be two. Again here, second row, column one. Second row, column one, that would be two, eight. But here we wanna replace with 10, 11. So essentially when we print now our new array, two and eight values would have been replaced. So I click on that and you can see now we've replaced uh, two here with 10 and 11 uh, and eight here with 11. Okay. Now let's look at the fourth example here. Uh, we're gonna use the arrange function here. Uh, so what happens here is that we use arrange here. Arrange function here creates um, uh, uh, numbers, evenly spaced numbers, right? In our case here, we'll be just uh, with a step of one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, okay? So this is inclusive of zero and exclusive of five, okay? It doesn't include five, okay? So that's what we have. Those are the values that will be generated. Then to create a diagonal matrix using fancy indexing, right? So we can use this NP.0. We've already uh, looked at how to do that. So essentially here we fill a matrix made up of zeros, five by five, right? Okay, and if I print that, this is how it looked like, the original array, okay? But now, again, we're gonna pass our indices, right? Our indices here will be, will look like this. So I would want you to imagine this uh, being here, replace the indices here, okay? But how, on the right-hand side, this is what we wanna replace that. So we wanna create a diagonal here. We wanna replace this, 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 we wanna replace this with one. To do that, we're gonna use the, pass the indices as arguments, right? So this would be a row and column. So essentially here we wanna replace, so we're saying here row zero, column zero, right? So row zero, column zero. So we replace this as one. Then we move on to row one, column one, all right? This would be row one now. So row, row one, column one. So we replace that. So we keep doing that up to, uh, row four and column four, which will be here, okay? And then each time we wanna replace with one. So once we uh, display our new array, this is how it looks like, okay? So you can already now see the power of fancy indexing, okay? Then here now, example five, what if we wanted to just select a subset of an array, okay? Now here we introduce uh, two more functions. We can combine this with other NumPy functions. Here we again create uh, uh, evenly spaced numbers between one and 30, meaning that we're gonna, we're gonna include zero and exclude 30, right? But we wanna reshape all this into uh, six rows and five columns, right? So this is how it looks like once we populate our array. So you can see it includes numbers from zero excluding 30, okay? And we call that array. But here now we wanna create an indices. We wanna create a way to extract specific numbers or specific values from our array. So here we wanna extract zero. We just pass some values, zero, two, four, and we call that indices, okay? Here, using fancy indexing, we pass indices as our argument. So notice how we place this column here, comma. So we just say, here we're just saying, 
select all the rows, but with the following condition for indices for a column. Remember here, the we usually say row columns, right? So here's zero, two, four. Okay, so that will be column zero, column two, and column four. Okay, so here essentially we just want to extract all the rows, right? But only for these conditions, right? For indices. So essentially here, once we print this, we should be able to see uh, this column, uh, this column, and this column. So essentially that's what it means. So we print that and you can see we've only extracted specific columns, okay? So this is the power of fancy indexing. And then lastly here, you can see how to use broadcasting as well. Uh, the key idea here behind uh, broadcasting is that, you know, when we have shapes of two arrays that are not equal, what NumPy does is use a smaller array to broadcast across the larger array to match its shape, okay? Now let's look at what's going on here. So in this example, we create a three by three array of random integers. So we use this function here, np.random.random uh, run int. So we generate random integers, okay? So again here, one to 11, randomly numbers from one to 11. Again, we are not including 11. And then we specify, so actually text uh, these three arguments, okay? The start, the stop, and the size of your, uh, array so three by three means just three columns and three rows randomly num uh, random numbers between one and 11 uh, excluding 11 okay so uh, once we construct that we can now create an array of indices okay here we want to just select the first and last columns so we use this double square brackets to specify we just want to select our you know uh, our first and last columns right remember our size dimension is three by three, okay? Now notice that in our initial array here is a 3D array, rather actually, uh, yeah, so it's a 3D uh, array of shape, or rather it's actually, uh, so the dimension here is uh, three by three, okay? So NumPy, and, and here we can see this is, a, uh, it kind of just kind of varies because indices here is a 2D array, right? And our array here also is um, 2D, okay? So what NumPy will do, we'll try to broadcast these two arrays together to create a 3D array, okay? So using this, we create a 3D array of, uh, with the following shape, okay? So three, two, one, okay? Three just means the uh, rows, and then two just means the column, and then one means the elements, okay? So, uh, again here, so if we pass this, you can see, uh, so if we print this, again, if we print this, you can see that uh, this is how it looks like, okay? So essentially here, this is our original array, right? So uh, we kind of just extract what we want based on that uh, indices. So if you look at it closely, you'll see that, uh, so here we're just saying for every, so uh, we wanna extract for all the rows, right? Based on these indices. So as I can see here, column zero here for all the rows. So we wanna extract for column zero, right? So you can see here the first and last column, right? So in our case here, uh, that will be seven and five. So first column here is zero and the second column here is, or rather the last column is five. That's why we have seven and five. Okay, we do the same again for the second row, right? For the first column, which is zero, and the last column, which is two. So we have this value one and nine, okay? And lastly here, uh, for our last row here, because we don't specify, again, for indices, first column and last column. So that'll be three and three, okay? So in conclusion, uh, overall, we can say that fancy indexing is a very powerful, uh, you know, facility in NumPy that allows you to select and manipulate uh, specific elements, right? We've seen how to subset elements. We've seen how to uh, do all that using arrays uh, of indices. Uh, in some cases, you've seen how you can use Boolean masks, you know, you come across that, okay? So fancy indexing just allows you to easily perform complex operations on your data, such as sorting, reordering and just lends to uh, some efficient coding here okay 
So uh, in summary here, we could say that uh, fancy indexing can be combined with other NumPy features, like we've seen here broadcasting, uh, we've seen how to use reshaping, we've seen how to use arrange um, to achieve all this complex array com uh, manipulation. Okay, so overall here, fancy indexing is just a, a powerful tool that allows you to manipulate arrays of data, okay, in a very flexible and efficient uh, manner. Okay, and mostly you will find this a lot when you're using, you know, especially, you know, if you're into uh, machine learning, uh, scientific computation or data analysis. Okay, and that wraps up on uh, fancy uh, indexing.